Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please stand. All that you have done to us, O oh Lord, you have done with true judgment. For we have sinned against you and not obeyed your commandments. But give glory to your name and deal with us according to the bounty of your mercy. As we begin Mass for the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time, let us sing, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together this evening and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind those times in which we have sinned. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasure of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say, the, Lord way, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, it is my way that is unfair, or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit inquiry and dies, it does because the inequity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live and shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love. United in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of Vain glory, rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for their own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was from in the form of God, did not regard equity with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name, which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus. Every knee should bend, and those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that 
Jesus Christ is Lord, and to the glory of God the Father, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet, even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would ask you to please pay attention to the following video that Bishop Bambara has prepared for you this evening.
recipients are thankful. This shows the gap in where I'm going to make the funds to buy it. During the initial height of COVID 19, we served more than 10,000 households through our food pantries. That's an increase of roughly 50% over last year. Behind each number, a family and a story. We had one little child who was with a parent and she said to her father, what are we eating tonight? And he said, what are the ladies going to give us? So um, that, like, stopped doing your tracks. We could not do this in sincerity without the support of the appeal. That's a reality. Social justice grants have enabled parishes to support families in need. St. Nicholas Church in Rosemary receives funding to make sandwiches, which are delivered
especially this year in the midst of the pandemic, when so many things in our lives have changed for all of us, and the way we attend Mass daily or on the weekend, or just the way we go about daily life. But my friends, the, the Bishop of Daniel Peel is extremely important for a lot of things, and I will just point out three examples today. During this pandemic, if we didn't have internet at home, we couldn't log in to one of the masses that Bill has live streamed for us throughout this pandemic. You had the opportunity to flip your TV on and go to Catholic TV and see the mass from the, the cathedral in spring. And thanks to those hard-working individuals at Catholic TV, and thanks to Bishop Daniel Peel, they were able to provide us the story. So without the nations of Bishop Daniel Peel, we wouldn't have to have the television in the Diocese of Scranton. Or, do you like to get that paper in the mail every couple of weeks, the Catholic lights? You can see what's going on around the diocese. And also now, they put the, the upcoming readings for the next two or three Sundays in there for you to know and have them with you. If it wasn't for the Bishop's Annual Appeal and funds from there going towards the Catholic light, we may not have the Catholic light. But most importantly, and you don't have to raise your hand for that one, for this one. How many of you are glad to have an assistant pastor at St. Faustina? Because let me tell you, if the first two reasons didn't resonate with you, let this one sink in. If it wasn't for funds from the Bishop's Annual Appeal, I would not be standing here right now. Because would it cost the diocese to send a man off to the seminary to be formated and educated to be able to stand here cost somewhere in the neighborhoods of between three hundred and five hundred thousand dollars is what the diocese has invested in me over six years. Some of those funds come from the bishop's annual appeal. So if you want to have future priests, it is imperative that we donate to the Bishop's Annual Appeal. No matter how upsetting it makes you that we're asking for money for the Bishop's Annual Appeal, this is why it's important. And as you heard on the video, there's other reasons as well. Catholic Social Services, who help people that are in the greatest needs, especially during this pandemic, they receive funding as well so those people can be taken care of. So I ask you today to consider these reasons and more as one of the big reasons as to why you should donate at least a little something to the Bishop's Annual Appeal. Because if it wasn't for the Bishop's Annual Appeal, I wouldn't be standing here with you tonight because I could never have afforded that kind of money to go to seminary. Thank you. Let us stand now and profess our faith. I believe in one God. Father, Amen. the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Just like he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers in which we offer you this day. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, for humble hearts committed to the Father's will, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for our president and members of Congress, for leadership and laws that defend the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who work the land for an abundant harvest, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the sick and those near death, for deliverance from pain and suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have gathered at this table for healing and hope, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For life in all forms to be respected in every way, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the pastoral planning process and all who are involved that it is be a successful endeavor, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those serving in our nation's armed forces, whether here at home or overseas, that they remember what they are fighting for, peace and justice for all Americans. May God protect them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the emergency and medical personnel doing the job on the front line of society to be protected from harm and that their resolve be strengthened, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the prayer requests received by our parish's ministry of prayer be heard and answered according to God's holy will. We pause now to remember our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who have died, Denise Yatsko, Francis Boreski, and especially for our Mass intention, Irene Ruth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, accept the prayers we offer you and grant them at your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the gifts are prepared at the altar, let us sing peace.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid up open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Praise Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed the man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as his eternal covenant. For when the hour had come, for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his, his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead. And today we remember Irene Ruth, whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant a merciful Father that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with all your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, we may glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command informed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a simple sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Remember your word to your servant, O Lord, by which you have given me hope. This is my comfort when I am brought low. Our communion hymn will be, Behold the Lamb. For those at home in act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Just a reminder that tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon at noon, we have the uh, St. Faustina Mini Youth Ministry Group uh, bingo fundraiser out at the Grove. Doors doors opened at 11, although there really aren't any doors on the Grove. But we'll be welcoming people at 11 o'clock. If you haven't bought your tickets yet, there are tickets available at the door. 
Um, so if you want to have a, an afternoon out, the weather's supposed to be nice, it's supposed to be warm, uh, come on out, support a good cause, and have a fun afternoon, get some fresh air. Although we will be wearing masks and we will be social distancing. But in spite of all that, $20, you could win some nice gift card prizes. And the most important thing is, is yours truly will be calling bingo. And that entertainment right there is worth the price of admission. Now, you might have seen my head. There may have been my head on the video today that the bishop sent first to watch. So uh, I won't be signing autographs because it was just a shot of my head. Um, so please don't ask for any autographs. Today I had the great privilege of concelebrating a confirmation mass at St. John Bosco in Cunningham, where uh, 29 young men and women finally were able to receive their confirmation after a four or five month delay. And it gave me great, great privilege to be there today um, with those kids, some of who I know, some of who are very near and dear to me. So we pray that they receive the Holy Spirit and follow their faith closely as they grow. I hope everyone stays safe, have a wonderful week, continue to wear your masks, practice your social distancing, let us get through this pandemic already so we can return to a normal life, which would be wonderful, because I certainly am one of those who are tired of this and want to return to some normalcy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, loving God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. As we go forth, let us praise God by singing from all that's well below. Father Sean said there is at 12 o'clock there is the bingo but also between 12 and 12 30 tomorrow we will also be having the Eucharist in the courtyard as we have been for the several past several weeks so you are still able to come for the Eucharist in the courtyard it is still going on uh, those of you who may not be able to get out of the car Father Nash will come to your car if that is your case you may want to come more towards the 12 15 to 12 20 time spot after most people have cleared out uh, but again, 12 to 12.30 tomorrow in the courtyard. Thank you for joining us today, and you have a great and blessed rest of your day.